All right, so it's one thing, obviously, to, to be able to pass it short lengths of cables. What, what about long lengths of cables? Einstein's going to give me one of our uh, uh, Brand X cables we actually found out there in the industry. Look at this guy. It's got what I call a wannabe monster. Look how thick that thing is, ferrite core. Pretty nice little uh, connector on there as well. But uh, this 10 meter cable actually costs about $400. So we're going to go ahead and hook this up to the system and see how long links actually perform as well. But right away, we're going to be a little gentle on this and we'll go ahead and just do it at standard speed. So just like your cable box, your satellite box, and things like that. So that's why we're going to go ahead and start at standard speed. That's at 742 megabits per second per lane. So that ends up being a total of 2.3 gigabits per second. So let's see what happens when we now run this through the system. And it actually does pass the test. So it does okay job. But let's paint a little scenario too. The customer now has wanted you to put this system into the back of the system, and uh, the back of the room, and they want to have the television up front or the projector. Now that you're running 10 meters of cable in the walls. So in this case, maybe the customer's happy because they got high def on their cable box. But here's where the problem comes in. We're now going to go ahead and run this and step this up to high speed, which is now going to be at 4.95 gigabits per second, as we mentioned earlier, like Blu-ray type bandwidth. So now I'm going to run this Blu-ray that this customer maybe have bought, put it into their rack system, and want to just use the same cable that's already in the wall. Let's see what happens now with this 10 meter cable we run through there. Oh, it actually does fail. So that's not good. But let's go back to our scenario where this customer's all happy before, but now what's their thinking? They're really upset because now this cable, you're seeing sparkles all over the television. Maybe they think something's wrong with the television. There's nothing wrong with the television. Maybe they think something's wrong with the Blu-ray. Maybe you want to take that back to the store. In the meantime, this whole time, it's just the actual cable itself. So that's one thing with that cable. Let's see how Monster actually performs. We have a 10 meter Monster cable here, and we're going to see how we actually perform at this same level. So our Einstein's going to go ahead and hook this up to the system, and let's see what happens as Monster runs at 10 meters. At 1080p. So we're going to go ahead and keep this at 1080p. We know we'll do the standard speed and see how we perform at 4.95 gigabits per second. What's the rating on this cable again, sir? This actually is rated at uh, ultra high speed. So we're way below what we can do, but we're just going to do apples to apples right now with what that cable, uh, that Brand X cable did before and see how Monster actually performs. And here we go. And past the test, flying colors. Again, look at the really thin bit waveform. And as Einstein mentioned earlier, this is why this cable will actually go even higher to that ultra high speed. So that's why we want to try to make that happen. So as you can see, obviously, even in long lengths of cables, Monster will outperform the competitors out there as well. All right, but it's one thing to see all these cool tests and passing and failing of cables on the test equipment, but how does it look in real life? Let's see what an actual failed cable looks like when we go to uh, the televisions over here. Just kind of let you know what we're going to be testing here. We actually have two separate PlayStation 3s. One PlayStation 3 is actually set on 1080i, which being standard speed. The other one is set for 1080p, being high speed. So now we can actually put a cable on one setting and show you how the picture looks and then put it on the other at a different speed at high speed. So here's what we're going to do. We have a four meter, another Brand X cable that we have out there. Actually, kind of a nice looking uh, cable. So we're going to see how this uh, particular cable performs at standard speed. So Einstein's going to go ahead and hook this up to the PlayStation 3 that is set at uh, standard speed 1080i. So let's see what happens. So in this case, you can see the uh, picture quality comes up, and we're actually at 1080i, standard speed. So how's the picture quality look? Looks great. So that's where the customers are confused. They're hooking up these cables that are maybe inexpensive. Wow, that looks great. It's in high definition, but it's in 1080i. But here's where the problem is. They have a 1080p source. They have a 1080p television. They also have 1080p movies that are encoded in 1080p, but now they're not even getting all the performance they paid for because they have it set to 1080i. So now that customer finds that out. Maybe a neighbor tells them, didn't even know that it would do 1080p. So now we're going to switch it in the menu, and, or literally in this case, put it changed it to another box, and look what happens now. You now get sparkles and dropouts at 1080p. 
and the customer is like, I don't know what happened. What's going on? Something's wrong with my Blu-ray. Something's wrong with my television. In the meantime, it's just the cable because it performed before, but all of a sudden now it doesn't because it can't pass that kind of bandwidth. But let's go ahead and see how Monster Cable performs. Here's our 10 meter cable that we had earlier. This is actually six meters longer than this cable we just tried that actually failed the test. Einstein's gonna go ahead and just hook it up to our 1080p Blu-ray DVD player and keep it at high speed like we had it before. And we're gonna see how this 10 meter monster cable actually performs. We saw it pass on the equipment. Let's see what kind of picture quality we get. And here we go at 1080p, the monster 10 meter cable, six meters longer than the one that failed, passes fine colors. Picture quality looks beautiful. So that's why we gotta make sure our customers understand that not only is high definition not the same, but also HDMI cables are not built the same as well.